Hello, sir or madam of YouTube, and welcome to What the Math. This is Space News for the week of November 16th, 2015, and today we're going to be talking about five awesome things that happened in the last week. And let's start with the number one most important news of the week, and this is, of course, the bill that has been passed in the United States, also known as... U.S. Commercial Space Launch Competitiveness Act. Now, this is something I had to look up and read because it's a very difficult name. Now, what is this bill about and why is it so important? Well, basically, this officially now makes it legal for companies in the United States to extract things from objects outside of our planet, specifically asteroids or the moon, and then sell them. So, essentially, this... Uh, creates a profitable enterprise for possible companies that want to go out there and try to mine asteroids. Now this wasn't legal before but now it is legal and official and this also means that um, anything that's to do with asteroids or mining or even mining on the moon is now similar to fishing in international water. So basically even though you don't actually own the international waters and you don't own the fish in international waters, as soon as you catch it, it's yours. And it's, it's the same thing with asteroids. As soon as you catch them and mine them, wherever you get it from them is yours. In other news, uh, SpaceX, the company by Elon Musk, the private uh, enterprise that basically has the coolest looking rockets out there, has its first commercial order from NASA. So in 2017, they'll be sending their first astronauts using uh, their SpaceX rockets, which also means that possibly, just possibly, US will stop relying so much on Russia when sending uh, astronauts to International Space Station. And very likely, this might actually kickstart a huge competition for private rocketry. So right now there's only Boeing and um, SpaceX that actually build these private rockets. But in the future, as, as long as NASA keeps paying money, there might be more companies popping up and uh, more money to be made in space enterprise. And if you ever wonder what those companies might be, here's actually a list of five of those companies. I'm gonna go through them really, really quickly. So there's obviously SpaceX. This is the biggest one right now. There's another called Avio, Advanced Vision into Orbit. Uh, this is something you can read about uh, in, in the link I'm posting. This is from Italy. The third one is called Planet Labs. Uh, this is a company from the US, from San Francisco. Then there's another one called OneWeb Access for Everyone. This is actually uh, not specifically a space company, but they do have a lot of satellites and they are trying to get into space full time. And lastly, ULA, United Launch Alliance, is another satellite company that might actually make it big uh, in the future. All right, now somewhat unrelated news. So um, this, this week, if you look up into the sky, if you basically just look directly up, you'll see a star called Algol. Or is it Algol? I'm not actually sure. It depends on where you live. It's pronounced differently. Anyway, this star is also known as the Demon Star because it's sort of named after... Medusa, which is basically what you see right here, but that's not the important part. You can actually read more about the star and the mythology behind it on the page I'm posting in the description. But what's important is that what this star actually does and why it's so, so famous. So this is how you actually find the star and it's a constellation of Perseus and it's right here. Now this star is really cool because it's, it's called a variable star. It's a star that changes its uh, luminosity or its magnitude, a topic that I recently discussed in one of the videos, and it changes it every two something days. So basically just under three days. And here is an animation that shows you why it does that and how it does it. So this star is a binary star with one really bright uh, white uh, main sequence star and also um, a much, much dimmer orange uh, main sequence star. And as they orbit around each other and as they basically sort of cover each other, you get these dips in the luminosity. And so this star actually blinks and here's a cycle. Uh, every two days, uh, for 20 hours and 49 minutes, they orbit around each other. And then during that time for uh, a few minutes or possibly a few hours, it will actually dim and then dim again and become brighter after that. So, so it's a pretty cool star to observe. And if you're in a dark enough uh, environment, you can see it right above you uh, somewhere around midnight uh, this week. And another fun fact is that for the first time in history on International Space Station, this person right here, this astronaut right here, played, uh, played the bagpipes. Uh, so bagpipes are now officially a space instrument, just like so many others. He did this because he was commemorating uh, someone who passed away. I believe it was his colleague. And so he played the bagpipes. So that's pretty awesome. 
And lastly, I'm posting this really, really cool video uh, that essentially explains everything about space travel in the simplest possible words. So if you ever wanted to explain to one of your friends or possibly your parents or possibly your younger sibling how to get to space, what space exploration is all about, have them watch this video. It's actually absolutely brilliant. It's only two minutes long and it explains space travel and space exploration or specifically how to get into space using rockets in ridiculously simple terms. So I'm posting this in the description below. And essentially that's it for the news for November 16th to November 22nd of 2015. And hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. As you can see, my Movember mustache just keep, uh, keeps growing. I'm going to mention what I'm doing this for and how, why it's important for me personally in the next video because that will be November 29th and November 30th. Uh, so that's basically where when Movember ends and when a lot of men usually shave their mustache. And before I finish this video, I just wanted to ask you to post an answer to this little riddle slash question. You see in front of you nine different pictures of objects. Now, one of these is Io, the satellite of Jupiter. But eight of these are just really, really old frying pans. Guess which one is Io? Post your answer in the comments below and let's see who gets this right. Thank you guys for watching. I love you so much and game you later. See you next week. Bye bye.